Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back for another stream. Part of my ongoing stress test series as I prepare for the 10 hours of Silverstone on, I believe, the 4th of September at simracing.gp with the one and only Jimmy Broadbent, Jardier, and uh, Gamer Muscle, and Simracing604, and the who's who of Simracing loyalty, loyalty, royalty, with uh, your plebby self included as well. So it's going to be exciting. Um, I am changing it up tonight. So I, as well as preparing for this race, am trying to stress test the PC to make sure there's no issues with the streaming setup, make sure it doesn't interfere with my driving. I don't want to bung the race out for my amazing teammates. So we're trying a few different things today. Instead of driving the 2020 BOP, we'll be on the British GT, which will allow us to do a multi-class race against Max AI once again for two whole hours. Um, I thought about three. We can do three. Maybe I'll build up the three, but tonight only two. I think maybe sleeping at a somewhat normal time here in Australia might be advisable. How you all doing? Tom, Andy. Tom, are you changing your profile picture dynamically? I like it. Keeps me guessing. Luxter, how you doing? And uh, thank you, goodbye, pork pie. Appreciate the uh, well wishes, mate. So, ACC, here we are. So, yeah, a couple of things I'm going to change here. Obviously, first is um, the way that I'm streaming. The second is the rim. I'm trying the Formula V2 rather than my McLaren GT3 rim. I finally managed to make the CSL DD compatible with ACC uh, using compatibility mode. So I finally get the LED strip. I get the rumble motors. It's actually working as it should. And one of the things you really realize about ACC driving with the Formula V2 after the McLaren rim is that it's really made for this rim. Like you can tell Aris just drives with this rim and you can tell everything is dialed for it because the forces are just better. There's more detail. I was actually driving more consistently and uh, all the flashing and stuff lets you know when you're overdriving because it lets you know when the TC is kicking in, lets you know when the ABS is kicking in. It's uh, very exciting stuff. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Nick. That's um, I did that last night actually. I hijacked um, Gamer Muscles' uh, server. <laughs> well, not really hijacked, but I jumped in at 6 a.m. to try and do a few laps because uh, he was practicing for this exact same event. So that was kind of fun, being the super laggy guy. Anyway, I hope you get some good sleep. Uh, yes, I know it's pretty early in Europe right now. This is this is like, this is the earliest I can possibly stream here in Australia and still catch someone on the other side of the globe. You know, maybe I'll catch you guys on your lunch break. Maybe you've got a day off work. Maybe you're studying. Maybe you've got a day off school or something. Whatever. But uh, yeah, this is the time. So one other thing we're going to change for this stream. I'm going to be running it between the hours of 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. So we'll get a massive, massive temperature drop over the course of the race, as well as a lighting change. So that's something I ought to train for as well as the the brake markers change, the conditions change over the course of the race. I don't know what time I'll be driving at uh, when it comes to my actual stint, so I need to make sure that I'm ready for all situations. And because uh, I'm driving in the British GT BOP, I think the car is like a half second faster a lap, if not a full second faster. So that's going to make me look better, which I'm excited about. <laughs> hey, Tertip, how you doing? Sim Hub. Arjum, how you doing? I, uh, I looked through my messages last night. I know I missed one of yours, so my apologies about that. It's very hard to kind of keep track of the chat while doing the whole racing thing. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do here is, just like last night, get a feel for the setup um, under the conditions. Do a few laps just to feel it out. Practice my pitting once or twice, because that's that's a big thing you got to practice in endurance racing, getting the pits just right. And then once I do that, we're going to set up the big ass, big ass two hour race. Five thirty p.m. Perfect. Just got home. You know, you got the whole night to watch my glorious stream. Come prepared. There's like a Pepsi Max. There's like a hydration juice. There's all kinds of things going on. All right. I'm kind of curious how well our um, 2020 GT BOP is going to translate to the British GT. Rather, our <laughs> sorry. Our 2020 GT setup is going to translate to the British GT BOP. That's what I mean to say. Because um, the Macra is a little bit more OP on this BOP, which I like a lot. Always good to be fast. All right. 
going to refresh the setup so the tyres aren't ice cold when I get out of the pits. And as before, I am trying this with the Formula V2 room, so I'm very, very excited. I really know I've I've not um I've not tried the CSL DD table clamp. No, uh, Jardier has though. If you want to check out a video with that, got it. I don't dare to be honest. I feel like I have a very flimsy desk. If you look out in front of me, I'd show you if I could, but um. Yeah, I, d I don't have high hopes it would survive the endeavor. Anyway. My tires are getting cold again, guys. Let's do this. I haven't done this uh, under these lighting conditions before. Oh, already getting glare. Cool. But yeah, as I was saying, my first couple of laps of the Formula V2 room just kind of went better. You can tell that ACC is really dialed for this specific thing. As much as I might prefer the feel of the McLaren, I think the Formula V2 is going to be the one. You can already feel the limit a lot better. It's amazing what having some flashing LEDs like smashing up in your face will do. It's like, da -da -da, TC, drive less, <laughs> accelerate less. It's like red pulsing ones. ABS is kicking in, brake less, you know? Ooh, getting some nice PVR action off the road there. I like it. Welcome, Babyface Squirrel. Good name. Enjoy the chat. You are now... <laughs> you are now bestowed the right of chatting. Whoa, it's hard. All right, it's going to be harder. I'm going to try and load up a massive grid. I'm going to try and do like, I don't know. What's massive in ACC? 50 cars? What I also need to do before I start my proper laps is... Turn me lights on. Here we go. Oh, that's going to be nice as the sun comes down, guys. We're going to get some real nice stuff down the straight here. I'm excited. Should be a fun race. As it transitions into nighttime, in real time, mind you, no time compression here. I'm trying to keep it as real as I can. All right, pit practice. Whoop, almost missed it. All right. Oh, I think I just made it. I mean, maybe I just made it. I've got to break a bit earlier, I think, in the actual race. Yeah, Nick, I think I need the sunglasses as well. One more core. I've got plenty of cores, mate. Uh, D2, definitely. Uh, when's the, when's the thingo going live? Surely I have a couple of hours, right? No! Okay, so the thing's gonna be just off my HUD. Alright, cool. Things gonna be just off to the side of my HUD. Cool. What's the uh, Silverstone 5K? Race room is like everything one core. <laughs> Race room is just like, pray, pray, no matter what you're doing, just pray. Alright, gotta launch correctly, Ant. Let's go, go. No, okay, so you gotta turn it on at one, it's gotta be at one second that I launch. Alright, cool, I'm gonna try that again. I'm just practicing my pitting a couple of times to all the newcomers, and then I'm gonna get into the race. The large race. Exciting dynamic time of day race which um, ACC does uniquely well ACC and the madness engine anyway though ACC does a little bit better feeling like you're driving an actual car so that's always a benefit MR Audio how you doing? how are the western suburbs tonight? <laughs> I ask while living in the western suburbs <laughs> I like all this glare, it's adding an extra challenge to the race. I'm gonna really need this. It's gonna slow me down, whereas the car is gonna speed me up because I'm on the British GT BOP. Man, I almost can't tell where the apex is there. It's awesome.
All right, got to come in on less of an angle. Car's very slippy there. Are you guys ready to join Gamer Muscle after this as he runs this same track and car and complains about the force feedback for four hours? <laughs> Man, that was a fun stream. <laughs> all right, all right, there it is. There it is. The perfect entry. I'm getting it. Uh, Nick, I don't know what BOP. I'm assuming the GT 2021. Um, that would be my guess. It's what I would use. She's so yummy. How you doing? Nice to see you. All right, I gotta, st I gotta stop correctly here. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Perfect pit. All right. I gotta get the launch right. A running event. Tom, that's crazy, man. Hope you enjoy it. That's, um, brutal. Will you need the entire track? It's pretty wide. <laughs> How many people are going to be running? Yeah, timing out Tortellini. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That was a great... Honestly, I kind of love just joining, uh, joining the server that they were running at, like, 6 a.m. here in Australia. It was so fun. And kill the pit limiter. And here we go. All right, get out. I hope you're proud of me, James. If you're watching, you're not watching. Actually, James is like practicing for some race he's got this weekend. Dude's just too alien. He's got like a full-time schedule of being an alien. He's got to build that spaceship to get him back to Mars. Yeah, feels a lot better with the Formula V2. If you want more mileage out of the CSL DD, the Formula V2 makes it feel like you have like one more Newton coming out of the base because its diameter is so small. What am I doing? That's the wrong way to do that turn, Ern. It's because my tires keep cooling down while I do my pits. So one more pit stop, then I'm going to start the race. Oh, look at them PBR shaders. It's nice. Thanks, guys. I'm pretty proud of that pit, too. <laughs> so the idea here is to get um, laps consistently in the 158s with full fuel load and, uh, you know, number two brake pads, which is kind of crappy. But, you know, if I get into the floor of things, hopefully. Oh, look at that. Sun's already dropping. It's going to... Uh, we're going to need sunnies to finish this race. It's going to be awesome. So many crashes. So many. Also, uh, like I said at the end of last night's stream, I actually did do this in race room after, just to feel out the difference. And uh, ACC smokes it. <laughs> it's not even close. It's not even a contest. As much as it pains me to say, because I love race room. The track quality in race room of Silverstone is atrocious compared to um, ACC. It's not even close. Uh, and the, the GT3s just don't have that same level of nuance to them. Sucks to say. I love race room, but yeah. This is currently our premium GT3 simulator, innit? <laughs> oh, I overdid it. I overdid it. I went too far forward. Ah, uh, it's all right. I'll know. I'll know to um, not do that next time. All right, cool. Well, technically, Tom, I'm not driving his car. I'm driving um, a Jensen Button's car right now. It's the Sky News one. Allow me to show you. See? Pretty. Hey, you get a you get a nice external view on my pit stop. Nailed. I think it's the one I didn't nailed. Yeah, Paul, uh, that is the issue in race room. The track quality just isn't quite there, unfortunately. I'm sure they're limited by budgetary constraints, but, you know, what do you do? Welcome, all 85 of you. Thank you for joining me so early in the um, European calendar, <laughs> in the European day. 
or wherever you're from, whether it be South America, um, Southeast Asia, Australia. Yeah, that's the pit that I messed up. You can see they moved my car. They teleported me off. Uh, dear, well, I guess it would depend on the item. Oh, no. No, I got James judging me here tonight. It's not just Tortellini. <laughs> hey, mate, I got one out of three pit stops tonight. Last night, I got like three out of four. Give me a break. Um, you know, whatever. I don't know. Pick, a, pick an excuse. I'll make it. At least I'm not driving as him. That'd just be awkward. I'm driving as the other JB. Oh, it's a pretty thing, that macker, isn't it? Yes. Warm them tires up, Ermin, sideways through maggots. <laughs> Just... <laughs> right, so I gotta set up this... Set up this glorious race. Everybody say hey to James. Uh, check out his YouTube channel, though I'm sure you already know who he is. Uh, he is Mr. James Baldwin, actually in ACC, because he drove in the British GP in real life. Uh, he will be one of my teammates, though it feels weird to say that. It's more like I will be one of the pathetic hangers on while he and Tortellini just blaze their way to glory. I'll just try not to like get burnt to a crisp in the sheer majesty of it all. Anywho. No, my gear shift debouncing is at 100. Thanks, James. I need to drop it back. Quick, everyone, take a screenshot. It's Ermin's ACC settings. Oh, oh my God. The max it lets me do, guys, 35. So, I started near the front of the field last time, assuming the James would qualify us on pole. Um, I still assume that's going to be the case, but I'm going to I'm going to start closer to the midfield or the maybe the back end of the GT3 grid. Yeah, so I can fight my way through a little bit and maybe get punted again. That's going to be exciting. About 17th should do. Big question is if there's going to be like mandatory pit stops. Why did they change my... This ain't right, James. This ain't... Oh, I can't. Alright, that'll do it. That's the one. Oh man. Never check the chat. Never check the chat. Should I make it awkward? Look at it. It's James, guys. You can talk to him. Look how pretty he is in his little, like, lime jumpsuit. It's great. Alright, make it less awkward. I'll be his boss. I'm, I just, like, need to triple check everything I've said. It looks right. The time of day is right. It's going to give us a nice nighttime transition. That's a good point, Andy. I mean, if GM continues to drive like he did last night, I'll need to do damage driving practice, like a lot. Because <laughs> uh, that was wild, man. That was Punterama. 
Uh, Ishi, yeah, I explained that before. So I'm trying the Formula V2 room tonight as a bit of a, a change up. Um, I managed to get the CSL DD compatible with ACC in CSW V2.5 compatibility mode. So now I actually get the LEDs, I get the rumble motors, I get the like flashing when I kick in the TC and the ABS. Turns out it's actually a lot easier to drive with those cues there because ACC doesn't always give you all those cues through the force feedback. Having them there visually can actually help you drive on the limit a bit better or beneath the limit if you're a pleb like me. So you're like, okay, let's not. <laughs> Our refueling isn't disabled, I think. Is it? Ah, oh, thank you. Good call. No mandatory pit refueling and we got tire sets unlimited. That'll do it. Thank you. That would have been a, a very annoying race. <laughs> No, no, no. The plan was for you to keep donating 10 cents at a time to Broadbent and distract him so he punts himself, okay? I can't be connected with this. Oh, exciting times. Ah, I got Tortellini judging me last night. I get James judging me tonight. It's going to be great. Or uh, I say tonight, but it's like noon for you guys. He's probably having his tea, whatever you British people do. <sighs> keep thinking I made a mistake somewhere, but I guess we'll find out as I start driving, huh? Hey, Nikki team! Nikki! Nikki's first! That's sick! I love Nikki! He has my favorite iRacing soundbite I've ever heard. Do we want- do we want light? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, James. Gear shift debouncing at 50 ms. You've gained me at least two seconds a lap. We'll do 152s just for you. <laughs> with full endurance load out. With cold brakes and everything. Who needs warm brakes? See, it's pulsing red to let me know the ABS is kicking in. Very handy stuff. Do I have GT4s behind me? Sweet. What? Dive for T1? Alright, cool. <laughs> Your wish is my command. Stay away from me, Tortellini. Virtual Tortellini. You and your Porsche. Oh, this is... Oh, oh that's scary. They're so slow through here. Look how deftly I negotiate traffic, James. Aren't you, aren't you proud to be on a team with me? With my miniature steering wheel? I start flashing them early. You got to keep them on their toes, you know? Got to check my fuel, is it? Nah, it's good. Alrighty. Car on the right. Too slow. Clear on the right. You're too slow. Oh, he's gonna pump me in it. Car on the right. Clear on the right. God, it looks so good at this time of day, doesn't it, guys? This is how I'm gonna carve through the influences, James. And then you might have to take over when it comes to the guys that can right. actually drive. Clear on the right. <laughs> Aw, oh, man ACC hates like rearward slip, it really does. I mean, I'm sure GT3s do, as a, as a general rule. Oh man, that Lambo looks really good. My man Misha sold his, I'm sad. I wanted to get to drive it at least once. Yeah, uh, so I hear, Tom, but you know, we gotta, I don't know, it's fiction, you know, I gotta, I gotta cheer myself up. 
I'm locked inside, you know, I'm still locked down. I need the sun somewhere. If I'm not gonna get it in real life, I can get it virtually. Whoa, snappy. My biggest issue, well, one of my biggest issues still, is getting the line right through maggots and beckets. I gotta really slow more and then line up the, um, the exit. Do I go up? Do I go up? Nah, it's alright, we'll stay in. We'll stay in fifth. Oh, why you give me dirty air? Um, I've yet to watch your video, James, so if you have critique for me, let's, uh, let's withhold it until the next stream. <laughs> Flashy, flashy. Where do we go? Do we go on the outside? On the right. We go on the outside. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. For some reason, the British GT version of this car is losing its rear a lot more. It might be lighter. Maybe it's lighter or the weight balance is different or something. Maybe it has less ballast. I don't know. Guys, if you dropped into the stream, thank you for joining me this early in the day. Make sure to leave a like. Let the algorithm shine its blessings down upon us so all the little boys and girls of sim racing can catch wind of this amazing fake race. And I can tell you about my amazing teammates. All right. What do we reckon? Are we gonna, we're gonna Hamilton this? No, I can't Hamilton it. Can I? Maybe I can Hamilton it. Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Wait, how is that the fastest lap? That was like three seconds off pace. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh God, no. I could feel the weight balance shift mid-corner. I'm like, I made a mistake. <laughs> All right, gotta slow down more mid-corner. Slow down more. I struggled to feel the weight balance shift. Uh, Hugginator, how am I handling the lockdown extension? Uh, well, I'm going to sleep at like 6 a.m. and I'm losing my mind on stream, so should hopefully give you an idea. Yeah, the punts in Silverstone can be amazing. Um, I got punted in the Kunoz community race at Silverstone, and man, it was, it, was like, it was like being in a pinball machine, just all over the place. And I mean, I have Australian latency. I can't do close racing against Europeans. Car on the right. No. On the right. Nah. Car on the right. Oh, man. Gotta right. watch out, they like to pit maneuver you this AI. Yeah, it gets the rear end out more in the British GT. Not sure what that's about. It was more stable on the 2020, but it's quicker on the British GT by like a second. I'm not running the ACC up. Oh god. Don't read the chat. Don't read the chat. Don't read the chat while doing cops. Yeah, good luck, Hugginator, man. It's um, rough times. Australia's kind of lost its marbles slightly. We still seem to think we're going to get out of this. Uns oh my god, what the hell? Ah, good call. There you go. All right, I've got to focus more on the actual driving. I'm kind of burning it all away. I've overheated my tires with, uh, well, yeah. No! Why? <laughs> Man. 
I uh, ever so slightly overheated my tires, so I've got to just got to just calm down a little bit, get him back in, <laughs> get him back in the window, so the car doesn't slide everywhere. We're gonna get a really nice sunset down here as we go. Jacques, welcome. Wait, what What the hell is going on? How am I getting 202s? All right, I, I really need to focus, guys. <laughs> I really need to focus. Wow. My tires are way overheated right now as well. All right, time to get this back into the uh, 158s and then 157s, hopefully. Focus, Sermon. Focus. Come on. Oh, thank you very much, man. Hey, from Melbourne, Australia. That's it. Focus. This should be easy. I should be, like, at pole right now. Uh, yes, Max AI. Alright, finally getting the Lambos. Part of the problem with Max AI here in our ACC is that they're not nearly strong enough to really prepare you. What's bugging me is why is my pace so... What is going on? I like have no grip on my tires. They're definitely on the higher end of the spectrum, maybe because I've been sliding around so much. Hopefully if I just take it easy for a bit, I can cool them down. Uh, what gloves? Uh, OMP KS4s. Very good, but I need new ones. They're kind of worn. <laughs> a tiny bit worn. See, the problem here is that, like, I can't complain about my setup or anything because it's made by a dude that'll, like, beat most people in the world, so I can't be like, oh, it's sliding everywhere, guys. It's so unstable. It's like, nope, I just suck. <laughs> That's the only problem here today. Oh. Too busy trying to find the flashes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Gonna center your ass. I just need my tires to get back to normal, guys, and then I can actually make moves, hopefully. And hopefully it gets a little bit uh, cooler as the night wears on. That way my tires will, you know... Do tirey things. Clear on the right. Go That's on not the clear right. on the right. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing clear on the right, man. Don't tap me. Clear on the right. What a dick. What an absolute dick. One like. No, I'm not overdriving the car. It's just my tires are overheated. <laughs> well, they were anyway. But 
but I am trying to calm it down a bit to cool them down. We're getting we're getting them below 28 psi, so I'm pretty happy. Our default setups are okay. Tortellini can do insane stuff with defaults, but um, yeah, you want to do a bit of tweaking to get alien times. Like at the very least, he does some wing tweaking. I don't think he's done dampers until recently. I'm amazed at how slow my times are. I was doing 158 just before quite easily, so I don't know what's changed. Maybe I was overdriving at the start and then got the tires way past the window. Car on the right. Clear on the right. All right. It does look cool, doesn't it? Hey, Mike, welcome back. It's almost back. The car's almost back to where it should be. I almost gained three tenths just uh, through cops there. But it's it's still kind of dancing around everywhere. Man, they are slow through there. Nice. The lawnmower line. That cost me. That cost me. What am I? I can't see. Fifth or something? Man. ACC hates that rear slip so much. The funny thing is that handoff from brake to throttle I can do it almost perfectly in iRacing and R-Factor, but in ACC it just hates it. It hates doing that handoff. That kind of go-kart, you know, progressive thing. It hates slip. It really does. But you got to, like, just grip drive everything. <laughs> uh, I don't play with triple screens, no. Improvising some new lines through there. Come on, get grip. All right, so I'm leaving about a half second on the table there. Which makes sense. I mean, I'm slow as. Um, my monitor isn't actually a monitor at all. I'm using a 55-inch OLED TV. That's 4K. But I can't run 4K on streams, sadly. Yellow flag ahead. Watch out. Oh, no. Man, the car handles so differently with the British GT BOP. 
I keep getting all this weird slip at low speed. Wasn't happening before. Well, that's one of the cool things about these streams. It forces me to adapt to whatever happens. So for some reason, I'm currently a second and a half off pace and I'm trying to work it out. And yeah, <laughs> the car's just... The car just has no grip. I'm having to like underdrive a bit. Blue flag? Wait, are we coming up on GT4s already? No way! No way! Time to overtake! My god, just give me grip, please! Flash everyone. Get the slipstream from this guy. Might take the outside. Clear on the left. Thank you, ACCAI. That's very right. gamer muscle like right. of you. <laughs> oh, God. Thomas, welcome. Laughing him has it already been that long? That's crazy. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Oh, it looks like Mr. Nicky team is being held up up ahead. Five and a half seconds. Here we go. Looking nice now. I think it might be cooling down as well. Maybe I'm overdriving less. Maka, fellow Maka. Ah. There's Nikki. Can see that blue Aston. The Sim Racing Expo? You mean the one that's on the other side of the planet while I'm locked down in my country? <laughs> I don't think so.
Oh yeah. Hash pro hash. moves. Your ass is mine, Nikki. Nope, right. nope, nope. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thanks, Santi Common. Hopefully after I negotiate this GT4 field, I can chill a bit and read this stream. Oh, you got a bit of slip there. No, oh no. Ugh. You absolute prick. You absolute prick. Well, there's that aero damage we wanted. a bit of Kevin Estra. What's the GC3 race without some Kevin Estra? I mean, I almost Hamilton the uh, the 570. Yeah, I'm leaving like a half second in the first three turns. <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt. There's really no way through through here. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the right. Got to say, the force feedback through right. that section, so good. Conan the Bavarian, what's up? I think we're clear, guys. I think we're clear for a little while. It's just one of the reasons I don't often do AI races, uh, especially on the British GT. This is just too easy, you know? Because my lap times are pathetic right now, and it was like, yeah, fastest lap. I'm like, what? How? GT4s do look very good, don't they? Which sim has the best AI? I don't know, it's hard to say. Probably um, Race Room overall, but R Factor 2, if you manage to like tweak them correctly for a given track and the track has good pathing, R Factor 2 AI can be quite amazing, but they can also be horrific. So, you know. Alright, car's driving a bit more sensibly now. Hopefully things are cooling down. <laughs> Wouldn't mind one normal lap, you know? There we go, come on. Come on. I was trying to maintain the delta, but no. Mr. Mr. Crossbow. Mr. Crossbow just had to have his way, didn't he? Now I know how you would have felt, James. I'm about as rapid against Plebe AI as you were against professional GT drivers in real life.
Yeah, this version of the car is like way more slippy for some reason. What is up with my times? What is up with my- I was getting like two seconds alive quicker than this. I did get held up by GT4s. Alright, we'll see how we go. Yeah, the sun's looking good, isn't it? I'm actually <laughs> struggling to see where I'm driving, so that's a good sign. It's the reason I set up the race at this time of day. I'm burning away all my time. It's so frustrating. One fifty nines? What is going on? What's happening? Oh my God. I don't know if I got aero damage during that um, collision with the GT4 or what. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. <laughs> that was very slidey. Thanks, Mike. Yes, if you've just joined the stream, don't forget to like the vid. To help me replace these tires, I'm overheating and burning up. God. It's, um, seen better days. Uh, the DD is performing really well on ACC. Shen, how you doing? Do I watch James Baldwin? Nah, never. <laughs> never heard of him. Who is he? I was trying to use every available inch of that curbing to try and make it work.
I'll be honest. I I feel like I'm driving 158 pace laps, but they're not. So it's really freaking me out. It's really freaking me out. Because I was pinning them before the stream started with this exact setup under similar conditions. Yeah, it's weird. Are you serious? What is happening with this car? What is going on? It's, it's like it just has no rear end. I've never experienced anything like this before. Might be that time to set the TC up a little bit higher. I think maybe the tires have worn a little bit more. Now the tires are on fire in the back. My God. That's what I like about these kind of practice sessions. They tend to be disasters. And I don't know what is going on, which is the perfect kind of practice that you want for an event like that. Because things are just going to catch you unawares. <laughs> I'm afraid to lean on the arrow now. Yeah, yeah, there's, there'll be a pit stop midway through this race, don't worry. Don't worry. I've just got to hold out for a little while longer, that's all. No, I can't say that I missed the extra Newtons from um, the DD1. Especially not with the Formula V2. Yeah, it's so weird. It's like, when I do those complexes, I don't feel like I'm as slow as the Delta is showing. And that's the thing that's freaking me out the most right now. You, you've got to be kidding me. The rear tires are done. Yes, ice skates would be nice about now. Hey, I finally did cops almost correctly. Still in the 150, not like what? 
Ooh. Ooh. My arrow has seen better days. I can't lean on it as much. <laughs> Usually with the Maca, you just like throw it in. You can just throw it into the high speed corners and it does the rest, but not anymore. That little uh, tap on the front. Uh, Andy, I've definitely done damage. It told me earlier, so. This is good, again. Any race with GM, there's gonna be damage. So I better learn how to drive with damage. Almost night time. Man, I'm burning away a lot there. Almost. Second half of the race will be quite dark. Kind of hard to see, hey? Really good thumbnail opportunity. I should just use that as my next thumbnail, though. Let's, uh... Turn my lights on if they weren't already. Oh, they were. Wow. Congrats to all the people receiving their CSL DDs soon. It's quite a wheel. Wait, who am I catching up to there? More GT4s? Are we, are we double lapping the GT4s? <laughs> Is that what's going on? All right, 37 liters of fuel left, so, you know, I've got to hang around with this damage for a little while longer and then I can come out and hopefully make some stuff happen. What I might actually do is go in earlier. I'll undercut, that way I get more, um, more car with proper tires and aero. Which would be very welcome right about now. Car on the left. Bear on the left. Ooh, why am I in first? Oh, look at that. Perfect photo op. Whoa. My grip has seen better days. No way. Oh boy. My god. Okay. It's all happening now. <laughs> it's really all happening now. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? Just leave me alone, GT Force. Leave me alone. Just want a normal clear lap. Uh, I'm using eight Newtons, guys.
car's definitely seen better days. I'm driving better than I did at the start, but my times are way worse. Car on the right. Clear on the right. I spent too much time in the GM stream, agreed. I always seem to spend too much time in the GM streams. <laughs> Hunterama. Ghost, welcome. Yo go, what's up? Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the right. Clear on the right. I kind of just want the sun to get out of here now. I just want to race in the dark so I know what I'm seeing, you know? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Damn you, GT4s. Seriously, damn you. Why? Why did I decide to do this for GT4s? <laughs> Maybe it's to emulate the backpackers we're going to get in the race, of which I totally won't be one of. <laughs> These GT4s need to get smacked. They need the Italian backhander, mate. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Push him out. Oh no, why? Why would he hit the brakes? The he just hit the brakes. What an absolute twat. What an absolute twat. I just got brake checked by a GT4, going onto a straight. You know, to all the people that say ACC has perfect AI, I mean, it is coded by Italians, so maybe it does by their standards, <laughs> but you know. I'm actually starting to drop frames looking at the, the long shadows here. Unreal Engine isn't enjoying it. Perez sounds like a good guy. <laughs> Knows what's up. Takes the right line when necessary. Sincerely, I hope that when I get out of the pits, I actually have a car capable of doing normal lap times. That'd be amazing. Car on the left. Clear on the left. No. Oh man, almost lost it again. This car has seen better days. Uh, Diogo, the race is on the 4th of September, I believe. Oh, you absolute twat waffle. 
You absolute twat waffle. Get the hell out. Nikki is waiting to catch me, boys. He's right behind me, biding his time. I'll pit soon, though. I'll pit real soon. Not sure how much fuel to put in, though. That's the problem. Yeah, I know which pair you're referring to. <laughs> Oh no! GM's trying to compete with me for the viewership! What do you guys reckon? Should I continue this stream but join his server? Get you some Australian latency? Get you some 300 ms ping? Boy, I look forward to uh... You know what, I think I'm gonna pit right now. And hope I can make it through the race. I just, I need it. Alright, here we go. Alright, hit it too early. I'll do, I'll do a max load of fuel. Everything else, fine. 38, cool. Let's just focus on uh, stopping the car on time. Huh? Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, thanks P-Dub. Almost. Zanny, how you doing? Uh, most people rank this track somewhere, like, up at easy. But for me, it's my worst track in sim racing. I just suck at it. You know? It depends. I think it depends what kind of tracks you naturally gravitate toward. I'm really bad with those super open, wide F1-style ones. Thank you, Omar. Yeah. Yeah. James, were you here to see this? Don't look at my times. Forget the times, look at the pit stop. Look how little time I'll lose us when we transition. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed right now. Come on. Wow, I'm in the middle of the field. I would have thought I'd be right at the end. All right, here we go. Oh man, the car feels so different, guys. Yep, different car again. Totally different, oh my God. Got front end grip? Got front end grip, boys? I do. All right, I need to stop sliding right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna get the same problems all over again. Oh, Paul, that's unkind, but very understandable <laughs> from James's part. Oh, look at that gorgeous sunset. Oh, thank you, Lord. I actually see, I actually see where the apexes and lines are again. I don't have the sun in my face. Hey man, how's it going? Whoa, it's really slowing down a lot in this section now. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do TC2 while I warm up my tires. And then when I want to get the actual pace on lap two or three, I'll drop it down to first and see what we can do. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the situation, Paul. Um, you know, in good circumstances, I'm in the 156s here, but this, I guess, would not qualify as good circumstances, you know? All right, car's way more stable in the rear. It's like learning a whole new car when you get out of the pits. Oh man, I've got GT4s coming up. There's no point. There's no point dropping it back to TC1 now. Um, it's not going to be the lap, so I'm just going to spare my tyres. 
hopefully get past some of these guys. They're all over the field, they're just like a nuisance. So much more grip. So much more grip. The first three laps are magical when you get out of pits. So much magic. Alright guys, if GM steals my viewers, I'm gonna invade his stream, I'm gonna invade his server, I'm gonna make it all happen. Car on the left. Car on the left. I'm gonna show you what Hamiltoning someone is all about. Was risky. It's all in our uh, good fun. I love both Jameses. I like James Baldwin and uh, James West, Mr. Gamer Muscle. Good bunch of lads. Dave Cam as well, even though he sold out to the dark side. <laughs> All right, Ehrman, come on. Wrong. I like paid too much attention to setting to the TC to one. Ah, oh, come on, wasn't that bad? Whatever. Whoa, that was, I, that was terrible. That was terrible, and I gained seven tenths. Like, that was really bad. And I gained seven tenths. There's like a second I'm losing there. My car must have been way more damaged than I realized. That was terrible as well, I'm still gaining time. And now the bloody GT4 is gonna slow me down again. Damn it, I just want one lap at a normal 158 pace. Is that too much to ask for, AI? Is that too... Bloody much to ask for, mate. Look at that. I'm almost a second up and that guy was slowing me down. Yeah, there was definitely heavy damage on the car. Ugh. Car on the right. And that was the last time Ehrman ever drove a mixed grid. Right. How am I still almost... Wow. Still half a second up, and that lap was a train wreck. Seriously, I, I hate you, GT Force. I really do. I really do. Man, the fact that that was still what it was. Crazy. Oh, I hope this works. I hope this works. I hope this works. See you on the right. Oh no. You ever seen that much traffic before in your life? My god, it's like a it's like a tourist and farting day. I don't think there's going to be a decent lap in this entire race, guys. There's just too many, too many cars. You absolute nincompoop. You absolute bloody nincompoop. These GT4s, man. <laughs> no, why? 
Ah, here we go. The train begins. Car on the right. That's some solid Three blocking. Three wide. Yeah, nice. Nice All block clear. in there. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. If you say so. Car on the right. Clear on the right. I still don't have the confidence in the front end grip of the car. I'm still expecting the, uh, the error to be just battered and broken. But for the life of me, I can't understand these projected lap times. They're just making no sense to me. Oh man. Oh man, that guy's dirty. Oh, he just ruined me. He just ruined me. So you can't follow too closely in ACC, it seems. Oh no. Oh, this traffic guys, it, it's seriously, it's, it's giving me a midlife crisis. Just, can you stop existing for one second with your crappy little car? <laughs> Just stop being there. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Just enough traffic. <laughs> Delta is just how fast or slow you're going compared to your last lap per sector. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Oh, good. Thank you. Just stay on the inside on the there, right. back marker. Clear on the right. That's how I handle blue flags. I don't know about you guys, but I defend against the cars that have clearly overtaken me. I've lost the peak of the tyres already, so there's going to be no more normal laps, so... It is what it is. Is GM going on about the force feedback again? Which one? Is it the aftermarket or the stock or which new force feedback is wrong and uninformative and terrible? <laughs> He does have his topics, doesn't he? <laughs> I can't believe the amount of traffic I've encountered on the second stint. I was so excited to just do a good lap, you know?
mean, look at that. I keep saying I'm losing like three tenths on the first corner and I, I've never been able to recapture it because there's been so much traffic on the laps. Um, I think ACC force feedback is serviceable and in some ways it's kind of great. There are certain forces that you feel like on the bumps of the track when you're loaded up. Like on a high downforce car like the McLaren, I'm feeling little bumps through my steering that are amazing. But there are no lateral forces, which is kind of what you tend to use to steer the car in real life. Like they're completely absent. Um, and you need, you need them there. Like to, so you have to basically practice to drive the car based on other cues, audio visual which is completely unlike the way you'd be driving in real life. And that's the thing that um, GM keeps going on about, you know? And I agree with him. I agree with him. It's just that I've made peace with it, and here I am. Would I prefer it weren't like this? Absolutely. Wow. We're back in the 159s. Ooh, hurrah. limits? No? Okay, I'll take it. Sweet. Oh no. Ready. Madness 2.0. Where's the uh, where's the information? Yeah, I mean, I don't really care so much about the seat of the pants thing. Like, it'd be nice, but I don't really want to run three bits of software intercepting my wheelbase to just facilitate that. That's, I'm too lazy. Like, I would rather Kunoz just put it in, you know? Just code it in. Put it like a slider like Beam and G has. Side Excel forces. From 0 to 20%. That's it. Let the people dial in how much seat of the pants feel they want. That's all you need to do. Would explain why they've been discounting the Project Cars series so heavily. I just wish they gave me free laps like this when my tires were fresh, you know? I just, I wanted to do 58s. <laughs> I really did. Oh no. Gotta take it easy. I keep puncturing that front right. I would say Cops is one of the ones I struggle to kind of nail every time. Oh, that was a bad move. <laughs> but it's funny, you can kind of skate over it on power in the McLaren. I just caught onto something then and spun. That was crazy.
Ah, 15 more minutes. Now I'm just kind of losing it mentally. It's one of the good things about doing this for two hours straight. You just got to put yourself in a place where you don't do that. I might want to put the TC back up to two just to spare the tires. There's really no point burning it up anymore. But how nice does that sky hue look back there? Oh my God. This Formula V2 freaking sucks sometimes, man. Like I just flung the thing up to increase my TC. And I noticed nothing actually came up on the screen. So I went down to do it again and just lost where I was. It's the two little thumb encoders absolutely suck. They're like the cheapest thumb encoders you can get. It's kind of a weird thing to have in a premium room. Yeah, all of James's setups are hyper aggressive, really. Um, this is the conservative one, so you know. Just got to get used to it, that's all. McDonald wheel. No, I'm not using the McDonald wheel today. Gradually losing the grip at maggots. Good luck, Tertip. tip. Makes me wonder, when is everyone else going to pit? And am I going to run out of fuel? <laughs> it's kind of scary. This, I feel like, is going to suck. He's going to break a lot. Yep. Yes, he is. Worst time to run into a GT3.
clear on the right. Okay, back to the traffic we go. Man, the GT4s are just manic through there. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the left. Man, Clear dangerous. Yeah, the formula wheel is too small for anything, really. If you're not a child, it's too small. I'm not really sure why they made it this small. It doesn't make much sense to me. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Or how I love the traffic. My god, the dirty air is so real. I feel like F1 cars have uh, larger wheels than this. I think it's based more on an F3 wheel, from what I've heard. Uh, F1 wheels are larger. Finally, we get some night time, huh? For 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the BMW one. Be interesting to pair it with a, a budget wheelbase like the CSL DD. It will feel a bit counterintuitive if I'm honest. That was rough. Yeah, the new Bentley wheel is pretty badass, isn't it? I would have stopped doing that. I could have worked out a more predictable and consistent line through there. That section feels so good through the CSL DD. You feel every little bump and undulation when you're under load. It's one thing I dig about ACC's force feedback. When downforce is fighting against irregularities in the track surface, you feel it. You really feel it. Not even our factor gives you that much. But our factor's curb sensations are unbelievable. Because it's got that 2000 hertz, whatever, time model. And basically just renders every ripple in that. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Class leader is in the pit lane. Oh, here we go. Here's the undercut moment.
flashing means GTFO. Oh no. Oh, it's getting dangerous now. Track limits? No, okay. Beast Gaming Arena, how you doing? Uh, R Factor for Endurance versus AMS2. Actually, what well, depends uh, what you prefer. Do you want immersion or do you want it to feel like driving a car? Neither of them will feel like driving a car, but R Factor will be a little closer. Uh, if you want immersion, AMS2 is the king. Yep, more flashing. Flashing for everyone. Woo! No! No! What? 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 What just happened? What the hell just happened? <laughs> this... The setup is so hyper-aggressive. You hit any undulation in the road surface that's unintentional and you're done. I don't even understand how the car lost traction then, because I regained it, and then it suddenly just starts doing this weird slip out. Oh no, my lights are screwed. It's alright, if that's uh, Nikki up ahead, I'll come out first again. I'll just have to drive around with a damaged car one more time. Once again, just more practice for driving with GM. <laughs> Car's not too bad. The light has seen better days, but the car itself isn't. All right, my, my, my Delta is terrible, so there's definitely something wrong with the car. Luca, welcome to the channel. This is what we're here for. It's all about grit. Gotta see it through. I like auto flash people now whenever I hit my brakes, it's awesome. Flashing means get out of the way. <laughs> Not block me. I need to catch Nikki up ahead, guys. I'm guessing he's already pitted. I'm guessing. Man, looks pretty at this time of day, though. Oh, man. Oh, there's damage. Front arrow is not what it once was. Oh, come on, man. Come on, you're on the blue flag. Does blue flag mean block the person overtaking you? Because that's what they've been doing. Uh, Thor, there's quite a bit of difference. <laughs> uh, 
basically ACC is the natural evolution of the physics engine of AC. They basically ported the physics from Assetto Corsa, shoved it into Unreal Engine 4, and specifically made the game for uh, GT3s and GT4s apparently now. So it's a lot more bespoke, a bit more purpose-built, a lot more dialed in. The wheel feels a bit loose in the center now. Um, not because of my wheelbase, but because there's actual damage. Damn, just. It's when you like, get the break point like half a meter too early. And yeah, Kraken, the uh, Aberum Preach FNF beef has been amazing. Fresh and fit made themselves look really ridiculous. It was kind of embarrassing to watch. They've been losing subscribers, like hemorrhaging them. They're back below 400,000 now. Crazy. What a, what a dumb thing to do. Pick a fight with our Aberum Preach. Yep, I'm back to that point where my car has seen better days. But it's cool. Oh my god. Where's my arrow? <laughs> Where's my arrow? Oh no, I never overtook Nikki, did I? I think I'm losing too much pace after that damage. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'm just understeering that. Yellow flag in sector two. All right, I need to pull out a colossal effort to catch Nikki here. Oh no. Alright. Come on. Oh guys, I've lost all my front downforce. It's just not there anymore. <laughs> oh man. Oh bloody hell, I'm trying. I am trying, I'm not sure if I can catch him though. Yeah, first time using this setup in the British uh, BOP. It's quite different. Quite different. Um, what's funny is that offline I was getting comfortable 158s and here I'm just been struggling all race. Ooh, it was a healthy frame skip there. Oh no. Ugh, lack of error. It's killing it. It's really killing it. This may have cemented my second place, unfortunately. You can see the car's hemorrhaging lap time right now. 
absolutely hemorrhaging two and a half seconds off. That sucks, Sally. These things happen though, you know. When you're badass, you tend to crack seats. Yep, arrow gone. Look at that, look at that. I'm losing almost half a second just at cops. Wow, it's insane how much the arrow damage matters, huh? Looks like Nikki got me. So it's interesting, in the British uh, GT BOP I've spun twice, yet on the 2020 I didn't spin at all. Wonder what that's about. And she's not turning. She's not turning. She's not turning. That's ah, such a shame. The temperature is dropping. I think that could be hurting the lap times as well. My tire pressures are closer to the 27 mark as well. So what I might do is I'm gonna lower the TC to try and get some more heat into the rears. See ya, Emma. Oh, look at that delta just on one turn. That's insane. That is insane. Nikki is a beast. He's also a beast with an undamaged car, it seems, that had a shorter pit stop. Uh, certainly helps with the beasthood. It's interesting finding out how much the state of the car impacts the lap time in an endurance race. It's really just about looking after the car. Oh my God, no. Oh my God, no. It has no front, there's no front grip at all. There's just nothing. I may as well not have error. I think at this rate, I'll be pretty happy to just hold on to seconds. <laughs> Hey, Tom. That makes sense, Jables. The car feels very different in this BOP. What's funny is that when I tried it um, offline, off the stream, I gained about a second per lap jumping to the British GT BOP. And then as soon as we got into this race, it was just a complete disaster. So 
So the car should have been faster. It just wasn't. Especially now. Uh, what happened to give me the damage? I spun strangely. Hit like a weird, weird bump. James White, welcome. I thought I had the car under control and then out of nowhere it just did like a slow lumbering high speed slide. Like the arrow disappeared. And unfortunately I tapped one of the barriers. These are all valuable experiences. I mean, this is the main reason that I'm running these streams, to go through all these errors before they happen in real life, so I know how to manage them. I know not to freak out when they do happen. To be like, whoa, what the hell? Why did my car suddenly spin out? <laughs> it does look good at this time of day, doesn't it? Oh no, oh no, the front, my God, just somebody please give me a splitter, please, for the love of God. I feel like I'm driving a GT4 car. Maybe this is what Ricardo feels like in the McLaren. <laughs> it's known for its bad front arrow. I, I'd believe it that the AI didn't pit after a two-hour race. <laughs> yeah, Nikki is just increasing that gap. This is an extremely aggressive setup, so it would be quite easy to um, stall the diffuser with the wrong kind of bump. It's what I'm, it's what I'm concerned about in our race. I know an absolute maniac like James can manage that, no problem. But someone like me is in a bit of a different category, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just a pig now. I feel like I'm driving a Bentley, like a Bentley GC4. Car on the right. Clear on the right. I think that's one of the um the amazing things about the Macca, because it's such an aero beast. The moment you lose the aero, you lose everything that's good about the car. Because you're really relying on the integrity of your body paneling. So if somebody wants to end our race, I guess they know how to do it. Kraken, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Goodbye. Enjoy your uh, evening, I think it is. Man, she's uh, having to throw around a bit, a little bit. You know, this will be the first time I've ever lost uh, an AI race against the British GT AI, I think. Especially at Silverstone, where they're quite easy. I feel like they're not affected by the endurance stuff as much as we are. Because when I do the sprint races, I mean, you just you massacre them by like a second or two a lap. They have no chance. But now, it's like, it's almost like Nikki didn't even pit. Looking nice, stars are coming out. Uh, good endurance simulator, this one. Just needs them all. <laughs> and the Norchlifer, of course, right? 
Most cliched thing to ask for in ACC. We want Nordschleife. We want Chili Willy. Alright. Time for more flashies. A bit more flashies. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Alright, getting better at this braking zone. Car on the left. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. You little prick. You absolute prick. Car on the left. That is the last Clear time. I run a mixed grid here for this for this practice. So frustrating. Oh, I have my hang-ups about the way this race went. It's good practice though, but man, I'm a tiny bit miffed. Oh, come on, man, just turn. Yeah, I think Nords would be really awesome in this title. Man, I get auto flash going on now. So I hope you guys realize most of those flashes aren't actually me. They're just my broken headlights. Car on the left. Clear on the left. I get auto flash now. Hey, Michael O'Brien in front of me. James's teammate. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Daytona is awesome. The yeah, American circuits in this would be great, any of them. Road America, Road Atlanta, Mid Ohio, take your pick. Sebring, I mean, there's so many good ones. Car on the left. Clear on the left. What if Nikki is on a three pit strategy, right? Maybe I can hold out hope, guys. Maybe Nikki is on a three pit strategy. <laughs> Herman hoping against hope. Yeah, nice work, mate. Clear on the left. That's definitely what blue flag means. Dive on the inside of the GT3 car. How does that factor into the British GT rules? <laughs> At this point, it's like, just get me out of this thing. Put me into something that drives like a car. Nah, Nicky is still up ahead. He's like over 10 seconds. Oh my God. Car on the right. Clear on the right. He just... That dude just slammed his brakes right in front of me again. Guys, this is the last time I'm doing a GC4 race on stream. That is insane. These guys are maniacs. Absolute maniacs. I don't know if I've gotten any useful practice out of this.
These guys are insane. Freaking insane. I'm getting into the lines again though. The actual driving experience is starting to feel more comfortable. Which I guess you would hope after two hours straight of driving. Um, aggression is at 60. Tire pressures are dropping pretty fast. Maybe Nikki has magic tire pressures that stay equalized for all temperatures. Maybe that's why I'm losing. <laughs> I'm just amazed at how little pace he drops. Open lobby simulator, good way to put it. Sometimes that's what you need. Prepare you for the worst of it, you know? And who knows, this event probably will have a lot of that action going on. One thing I'm curious about comparing is I ran last night's stream off my CPU and this one off my GPU. So I'm curious which of the two ends up looking better. That's one thing I'm gonna compare. Out on the right. Do you on the right? I can generate more heat by upping my abs. I agree, I mean, a six-pack does normally correlate with how hot someone is. Good call. I can't believe, I can't believe I lose almost half a second on the first turn. Like, the amount of aero damage on this car is obscene. Obscene. A second just coming out of Maggots and Beckett's. Oh, is that what ABS means? I didn't know. Gotta say, all in all, CSL's feeling really good, Formula V2's feeling good. I'm glad it's chucking the LEDs out at my face. It's feeling a lot better um, than the McLaren room was. It's a bit too small for me. The grips end up hurting my hands because they're like, not great, but... It is what it is. Until the GT3 wheels come out, it's the one. For ACC anyway, ACC really likes this wheel. You get a lot of the missing information through it. Not the gamer muscle would agree, you know? Uh, whatever, yeet. Right. <laughs> Maximum yeet. Ah, oh, damn it, Nikki. He's 12 seconds ahead, guys. I don't think I can do it. It's funny how much ACC just relies on rinse and repetition, you know? It's like, no matter how I do that turn, I keep losing the half seconds. So crazy. Maybe this is what driving a Williams feels like. waiting on Hamilton to lap me at any moment. It's an interesting thing to uh, complain about, Jables. Funny how much larger that M4 is than we are. Car on the left. 
It's a little larger than my M2. Oh boy. This is where I spun out. I hit that weird thing and then went, bye. You want a stall diffuser? Enjoy. Hard of rally afterwards. God, I wouldn't have the energy. I think I've got to edit my, uh, my next video after this. Or invade GM's server, assuming that he's still driving this. I assume he's still in ACC complaining, so... Car on the right. Clear on the right. Come on, Nikki. Nah, Nikki is still ahead. Way ahead. No chance. No chance. It's getting real nice and dark now, though. Having to drive by memory. It's quite terrifying there, in the dead of night. <laughs> I can see why F1 doesn't race here at night. <laughs> I know, right? These, these headlights are uh, doing things. Always under braking too, it's like, hey. How do you feel about warning people you're slowing down? I'm hoping with enough rinse and repetition I'll eventually overcome my hatred of Silverstone and just kind of endure it, you know? Just be like, yeah, well, it's another, it's another lap, it's fine. Flashing lights because front of car very damaged. <laughs> very, very damaged. That's why my Delta is almost four seconds down a lap. My car has uh, seen better days. That's insane. It's in how like how much damage? Given how light the impact was, you know. Man. All part of the endurance experience though, you know? You're driving a heavy car, bogged down with tons of fuel. All your cambers are neutral because it's like, well, you can't wear out the tires too fast. And then damage because you're just going to run into scrapes, you know? That's what happens. Yeah, Mons is probably my second least favorite. Um, I've never really driven it that much. I should drive it more in ACC. It's probably one of my most underappreciated tracks here. Ironically, I think I drove it most in race room. Where it's not even laser scanned. Monza's that whole, you know, straight, straight, chicane, straight, <laughs> straight, straight. Well, boys and girls, I somehow don't think Mr. Nicky is going to be pitting anytime soon. Whew. My leg is legitimately hurting from all the driving. Too much load cell brake.
Yeah, I got no chance against Nikki. My God, car has had it. <laughs> I kind of like it at night. It adds a certain intensity to it, you know? Ehrman punterinoed himself, sadly, into damage, and now he can't catch Nikki team no matter what. So, you know, live and learn. Don't self punterino. Life lesson. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> it does, yeah, yeah. I'm struggling to see the apexes. I'm having to kind of guess my brake markers, you know? You can't, you literally cannot see where you're going. So another cool thing that, you know, I really wanted to <laughs> train for, I guess. Frederick Magnuson, welcome. I feel like you're Swedish. Agreed, Jables. They should really, really be screwing with each other a bit more. I mean, at least if someone screwed a bit with Nikki, you know, just a little bit, like a love tap on the rear, just so we lose the rear end a bit occasionally, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm literally lacking my whole front splitter at the moment. I'm basically driving a GT4 car with slightly more horsepower. All right, we've got traffic coming up. And two more laps, I think, and then that's it. I mean, if I maintain second, I'll be pretty happy. I've got D-Lind behind me, about 11 seconds. I think if I don't do anything stupid, I should be able to keep it that way. There's no way I'm gaining on anyone with this car. But I'm keen to go back to a practice after this. You know with an empty field and be like, all right, let's 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 get that 158 that I was getting earlier. Like, I, w I just want it out of my mind. I want to know what it was. And then I can invade Gamer Muscle's server. Like a friendly invasion, you know? Not not an evil one. Ha <laughs> ha, nice one. It'd be a bad day if I wasn't gaining on GT4s anymore. <laughs> That'd be some terminal damage right there. What about leader is pitting? <laughs> My god. I'm struggling to even get the GT4 car here. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Wow. Like half a second in one turn. That's insane aero damage. Crazy. <sighs> All right. One more flash for good measure. since I'm only racing against GT4s.
Fuel calculation was okay. I've still got plenty in reserve. Got another like two or three laps left. At least we won't have to look at the seizure lights for too much longer, right? And starting to hurt a bit. Ah, oh, has he now? rough in the end my god it's like almost 18 seconds behind that is heavy heavy damage wow well thanks for bearing with me eesh and get the animation the cheering oh no cheering <laughs> session is ending <sighs> thanks folks wasn't the best but you know it's all a learning experience, I guess. Gotta calm down and get the feeling in my hands back and then I can uh, say hey to Jim. Yeah, I don't know, Corey. Um, not sure, it depends how long the pit would have been, I suppose. I think it would have been very difficult to gain the time back in any case, but who knows? I tried to make it work, stretch it out. Sometimes it doesn't work that way, but we'll have a full 10 hours to play with in the actual race, so you know. Well, look at that. Totally different time of day. That's what my car used to... No, that's with damage. <laughs> I was going to be like, that's what my car used to look like before Roman came along. But no. Hey, Pepsi. Good stuff. Hello, unscripted. I was already kind of getting the line down for that. Um, British GT use the old time model. That's a really good question. I don't know. I'm not that into... Oh, wow. It's just as I pitted. You can see I hit the brakes slightly too early, but I think otherwise, otherwise I think the pit may have been perfect. Let's watch the pit from the outside. This is solid stuff. Damage practice is best practice. Look at that. It's just going to go straight up. Yes. Yes. Man, from this angle, the cars almost look real. That McLaren especially with the lights. Crazy. Imagine that Unreal Engine, or Kunoz rather, used ray tracing, which the Unreal Engine is capable of. I can't remember where I spun out of nowhere, Jogo. Um, I might actually, but I need to go to the bathroom first. I'm dying here. I need to do that. I'm going to go into a practice session. I'm going to get my 158 with the full fuel load and the full endurance layer. I just... I don't feel right until I've done a proper lap in this thing. Um, I feel fairly warmed up to it now, so you know. That's true, Corey. I really hope I nail it when it comes to the actual race. I'll be so beside myself if I don't. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think um, Assetto Corsa 2 will be Unreal Engine 5 or will it be Kunos going back to their own engine and like hiring the CSP guy? Straight to it.
Uh, Diogo, why would they go back to their own? They've spoken about it a few times. There are some unique challenges in coding for Unreal Engine, um, some of which are still hanging over in ACC. If you look at the car from the outside, its motion looks extremely unnatural. It's one thing they could never get right in Unreal Engine. It makes it look kind of weird in broadcasts. It really, really doesn't um, convey weight transfer well at all. The car just looks like a static plane and it's just kind of pivoting around it. It's like a weird zombie walk. It doesn't feel that way as much in the car, but when you look at it from the outside, you're like, oh, they've had to uh, make compromises here. Yeah, I get the same feeling, Jables, based on what they've said. It looks like they'll be jumping to something else. Besides, would Epic um, force them into using Epic Game Store? Because that would be a complete pain. Alright. BRB, I think. Bathroom. And then I'm coming back to get my lap. And I'm going to annoy GM. Sounds good. We're back.
So, just so you know, even though I lowered the track temp, I changed the time of day, so the resulting, um, air temp rather, the resulting track temperature should be the same. So the air temperature will be lower, which I think is, might have been part of my problem the air temp was quite high as well. Who knows? I need the proper livery to do this. Pretty happy with how the stream has gone so far in terms of reliability. I'm not aware of any crazy crashes yet, which is always good. Alright. Almost the right temperature. Alright, with the full fuel load. Ah, uh, Diogo, I'm not going to get a 156 with a full fuel load and an endurance setup. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. But I want to get a uh, 158 with this setup. And then maybe I'll jump to the, um, the qualifying setup and get the 156 with that. My god, the car's so much easier to drive now. Whoa, other than that? Okay. Alright. We got the rearward slip back. I've got to watch out. I'm going to turn up the TC so I don't uh, burn up the rears <laughs> while we're warming up the tyres. Yeah, a lot more stability. Really makes me appreciate what I was enduring before. <laughs> and look at that, I can actually see the track, I can see the apexes. <laughs> How awesome is that? She just snaps and steps out. It's full on. Right, tires are almost there. Usually takes me about two laps to warm them up, but it's alright. Back to TC1, I say. Funny, it's stepping out way more than it was at the end of that race. It's unfaithful. I'm gonna try my best, but I might spin. <laughs> Adam, what's up? Nah, 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 nah. Double nut. <laughs> That's alright. That's another lap to warm up our tyres a bit. Agreed, Corey. Yeah. You know. Those are pro hacks. Having fluoro yellow slash lime on your car, at least two tenths a lap. Because you're blinding your competitors, really, you know? They don't know what's going on. They're like, why is this highlighter flying past me at 260? Almost. Almost.
Came in too fast. See, this is where we establish the parameters of, of, of what you can and can't do with the car. These two laps. Because it drives, it's amazing. It drives so much differently without damage. It's almost like I've jumped into a different type of car. So I'm having to relearn its limit again. It's going to be crazy in the actual race. Just, if I could just get a smidgen more stability, I'd be pretty happy. Disgusting. Disgusting. Come on, 158s with the endurance setup. Come on, you can at least do that, Omen. Come on, come on. My God, just stabilize your rear. What is, like, what the hell is it doing? It's not going to be a 58, but I'll try. I'll, I'll either bin it here or do it. <laughs> or just not do anything. Oh, it's a shitty 158. <laughs> It just, it just drifted, cops. <laughs> it's like, what? What are you doing? What even is this setup? <laughs> My God. I'm gonna have to have a word with the guys about this setup, man. This is, this is kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Once the tires get up to temp, it's just weird. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing? Me and GM are very close lap times. No, we're not even close. <laughs> if you watched the stream last night, you'd see we're not even close. <laughs> you need to uh, bear in mind circumstantial elements in ACC. There are a lot of things that influence lap time, such as driving on a hot track, having a full fuel load, having an endurance setup or a hot lap setup. You gotta factor those in when you're comparing what people are doing. Like me sucking right now. Um, I might try one more. I might have one more left on these tires if I don't burn up the rear left. It's the, I can feel the lack of stability in the rear, into cops, and I just don't have the confidence to get that last two tenths out of it.
Look at that. It's just... It's like does this like half passenger slide. It just... It just like carries itself sideways almost as if there's no friction on the road. It's weird. Look at that. Just completely... Just, you let off... You let off the brake and the car's like, oh, I see you want to drift. why I was struggling. It just doesn't drive with me. It's good to find out why though, you know? Last one. Hopefully it works out. I don't think it will, but we'll try. My God. I'm having to do such insane things. Such insane things to keep it on the line. Car mechanic chat. Always like the car mechanic chat. No. <laughs> oh, that's a big no. I think I, I'm going to try another one very quickly. This is going to be super snappy though. That doesn't make sense. I need the temperature around 15 degrees for this setup to work. I don't want to toy with the tire temps too much. Ah, 12 will do. Might be a bit cold. Okay. Curious how this differs. Uh, I have Jeremy. I was running full fuel on purpose. Now I'm running not full fuel, fuel. Okay. She feels a little bit different.
All right, it's not doing as much of the whole spinning um, when I come off the brake thing. I have to share the setup with two other people, both of whom are way faster than I am. So all that matters is that they're comfortable and fast, and I just have to make do. Whatever it is that they choose, I'm going to make do. All right, this is way more stable. I don't know what, what was happening with the other setup. It was just losing the rear end. The moment I came off the brakes, it would just spin around. Now, I believe this setup actually has uh, softer springs. In fact, I don't believe I know. <laughs> I looked at it. Yeah, it's more controllable on the limit. So it's still vague in that beautiful ACC way. All right. It's funny how little confidence I have in the rotation after the last setup, but this car's, this setup rather is a bit more, it's a bit more stable. It allows for more. The first brake compound is so much better than the twos. It's crazy. So much better. That's a little better. A little better. I should be doing um, low 156s with this setup, but at least at least I redeemed something out of this. I don't know. I think it's just the setup didn't work. The other one for me it just doesn't drive with me all that well. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, I should be quicker with this one as well. By about a second or so. Anyway. Let's see where we can make up that extra time. Uh, have I hit 100? Oh, on the straight, yeah, we way past 100. Um, we hit a bit of a um, dry patch with Art of Rally. YouTube didn't like me that much anymore, but we've We've had in excess of 400 um, viewers in the past. Just depends on what's being, you know, broadcast. Oh man, she turns in so much more <laughs> than before. Just trying to get used to it.
All right. Lucky last lap, I think this is. Yeah, it is. Let's see how we go. That's better. I had a feeling like mid to low 156s would be right for this setup. Messed up that exit. Hey, Samrissa. Well done, mate. That's the fastest lap. I guess it'll do. So I guess the um, the endurance setup we boiled down just wasn't really driving with me all that much. Um, I was wondering why the heck my laps were like in the two two minute range. Crazy. I uh, had to dial in good settings for G920. Uh, I mean, <laughs> there's there's really no answer to that one. <laughs> dial everything to 100 and hope for the best. No, I think Aris actually has a guide for it, but um, it's, it's hit and miss, you know? You can tell Aris doesn't really use the G920. He uses uh, the DD1 and this rim. Yeah, I think you're always going to struggle. Uh, Coyote, I'm, I'm not actually sure. Can't remember. Anyway... Thank you all for joining me tonight. Uh, this is the wind down portion of the stream post race. I had a strangely infuriating race. Stream went really well though, really nice and reliable, I think, from my end anyway. Um, so thank you all for joining me tonight. I'm going to head on over and annoy GM or like join his server or something for the rest of the night and then I think just chill a little bit and hopefully not sleep at 6am again. So peace out. I hope you folks have a good day, night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And uh, until the next one, I will see you later. Oh, Fanatec affiliate links down below. Buy good stuff. This thing rocks. I really, really do like it. Anyway, <laughs> shilling over. Peace.